Hey guys, today's video is about how to edit Perspective in Affinity Designer to create optical illusions or text effects like the one you see right here. And we're using Affinity Designer version 2 for this, starting with a new clean document. First of all, you of course need the object or the text you want to edit the perspective of. So in our case, we are going with the artistic text tool right here and typing in perspective and adjusting the font to, for example, Mozara and the type bold, choosing the move tool right here, making it a little bit bigger and moving in the middle of our screen by having snapping activated. And in our case, we want the perspective to be um, that the text points out of the document like here. So you of course also need some 3D and uh, optical illusion thinking for this. And th therefore we need some guidelines, some helplines, and we're using the vector um, pen tool right here for this. So we're going from the E bottom right here and something like this. And now simply selecting this curve again, clicking command C to copy, command V to paste. If you're using Windows, simply use control instead of command. And now um, we can go to transform and flip horizontally and move to the top like this. So we have our perspective. Now we need to edit the perspective of our text, of our object. And therefore we have a new feature in Affinity Designer version two, you find right here. So you have to select your text or object in the layers tab and then go to right here to warp and then go to perspective. And now we need to zoom in and to adjust those um, nodes to our guidelines. So like this for the front of our text and zoom out a little bit and like this for the um, end of our text and again for the bottom side like this. And now we have the perspective we want. We can still adjust this um, perspective in the text because that's a live feature. So we can click right here again and we have the notes again and we can go right here and have our text right here. But to uh, make it look more realistic, we need to convert it to curves first because we need to um, um, give it a little shadow and it's a bit buggy if we um, um, give it a shadow right here. So if we go now with shadow, you see it's a little bit buggy. So we have the shadow like the text is and not like the perspective is. So we need to convert to curves first, but keep in mind after converting to curves, we lose the ability to adjust the um, warped, the perspective. So we click right here, click right here, convert to curves. We can delete our curves right here and we can now go on our group. We can go to quick FX and we can go to outer shadow, which is right here black 50%, radius like 30 or um, depending on your needs and offset maybe also 30 and um, of course adjust the angle to your perspective, to your optical illusion. And that way it looks more realistic than um, the standard version in my opinion, but that's up to you. And now we can move the whole group and adjust the size and um, everything resizes the perspective and the shadows with our group and we are finished. We can move this and that's going to do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye.